As promised, uh, let's discuss with the management of Chalet Hotels as to how their business is really panning out. Mr. Sanjay Sethi, the MD and CEO, has been patiently waiting by. Hi, Mr. Sethi. Good afternoon. Good to be speaking with you. Let's begin by discussing the demand scenario at the moment. Um, the chatter that we are hearing very recently suggests that there's a bit of a cool-off in the kind of demand momentum that we were witnessing earlier. Would that be a correct statement? Good afternoon, um, and thank you for having me on ET now. It's a pleasure. Um, well, you know, demand continues to outpace supply uh, for the industry and expected to continue to outpace supply over the next, uh, you know, three years. This is the visible future that I have right now. Um, so I don't think it's a big concern on that front. Of course, there'll be pockets of the country where you might see some flattening out of the demand. But uh, overall, uh, big cities, uh, business travel continues to outpace the supply growth in these big cities. Okay, so demand continues to outpace the supply and that's the reason perhaps the occupancy level for you keep on going higher. This time around it was around 76%. Going forward, given the fact that you are present in those uh, cities where business travel is picking up etc. as well, what's the expectation of occupancy levels for the coming quarters? I think the, the growth story is going to be a mix of rate and occupancy. Uh, on the occupancy front, we expect two, three things to happen. Two of our hotels right now are uh, in the ramp up or renovation phase. And once they come into play, uh, they will start adding or building to the occupancy that as a portfolio level they'll be able to deliver. And therefore, there will be some amount of increase in occupancy on account of them. In addition to that, we do expect Bangalore to pick up on occupancies and we expect Pune to pick up on occupancies. The rest of the uh, 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 cities, we expect uh, a rate-led growth. Okay, so it's going to be a mixture of volume and rate-led growth. But what kind of rate-led growth are you expecting? Because last couple of years, we've already seen quite a bit of inch up. Uh, what further? Is it going to be single-digit kind of increase in realizations? Could it be higher? We don't give forward-looking sure. numbers uh, at Chalet. So I don't want to risk doing that right now. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be healthy rate growth. It's a healthy rate, but talk to me about the expansion plan because you did acquire, if I have it right, um, the Aravli project at an enterprise value of around 315 uh, crore rupees. You also had that Hyderabad mine space project that you have launched, uh, added capacity in Pune as well as you were talking about as well. What about the way forward? What new properties should we expect to commission in the next 12 months, Mr. Sethi? Yeah, so in the last 14, 15 months, we've actually added four assets, the Duke's Retreat and Lunabla. Uh, the new hotel, the West in Hyderabad. We added capacity to Pune, and then finally we acquired the courtyard by Marit Aravali in the NCR region. Our current pipeline has about 870 new rooms under development. In addition to that, we have uh, about uh, 1 million square foot of office space uh, that's to be developed still. Uh, so overall, a strong pipeline, um, strong market performance, and I think Chalet has... Uh, sort of uh, outperform the market overall. Mm, fair enough. And you did also raise almost a thousand crore rupees via QIP and I think the uh, overall proceeds were likely to be used for debt. Could you give us an update with respect to where the debt stands or where, where, where is it targeted to be at by the end of the year? So, so I, uh, our debt, I think, uh, end of March was around 2,500 crores. It's down to now 1,400 crores and change. Uh, and that's on account of two things. Number one, of course, uh, uh, cash of crores on account of the business performance. And secondly, 900 crores out of the 1,000 crores has gone into paring down debt. Um, so at 1,450-odd crores of debt, uh, we are in an extremely good space right now to create headroom for growth going forward. Okay, looking for creating headroom of growth. But um, Mrs. Seth, you pointed out how you've managed to outpace the peers with respect to growth. What do you think you're doing differently that's uh, making you stand out? Is it the kind of locations that you're choosing or is it there something different in the value proposition that excites the consumers a lot more? So, you know, we sit on the uh, ownership side of the table as far as hospitality goes. And every asset that you add has significant uh, EBITDA addition. Of course, it is capital intensive in nature, uh, but then every asset tends to give a significant amount of contribution to the p &L. Um, so that's one thing different that we on the investment side of the table as against most of the other hotel companies being asset light or asset ripe, some, as it's sometimes called. Um, and I think that's the key difference for Chalet. 
that in a market which is growing rapidly, we have new products coming in play every year uh, in the last one year and will continue to happen in the subsequent years. Okay, yes, while it's a great news in the upcycle, a capital uh, heavy uh, book, it might not be as great a news on the downside, but clearly we are not looking at it anytime soon, given the kind of big, uh, you know, up move that we are seeing in the sector right now. Um, okay, that, those were largely the questions I had for you, Mr. Sethi. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us and talking about how the overall sector is doing with respect to the growth outlook and the pipeline, which continues to be fairly strong. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to 18 now.